The Niger Labour Congress NLC has condemned the intimidation and harassment meted on its members in response to its protest against widespread suffering, hunger, insecurity experienced by Nigerians due to government policies, particularly the hike in price of petroleum products. It also reaffirmed that the National Executive Council of Labour Congress will convene again to decide on the next lines of action if the government fails to comply within the specified time frame of the ultimatum. Speaking while addressing a media conference in Abuja on Friday, the NLC president, Joe Ajero, described the attempt made by some circle to subvert its peaceful protest as unconstitutional and against democratic experts of right to protest. He has assured that the labor unions will not succumb to threat and intimidation from agents of government and will remain steadfast in its commitment to defending and protecting the interests of Nigerians, workers and downtrodden masses. During yesterday's press rally in Abuja, and we have had evidence for the importation of agent provocateurs who were mobilized to the protest routes and grounds to cause violence and unleash mayhem against peacefully assembled and protesting Nigerians. Also speaking, the representatives of Sister Five Civil Society groups FEMI decry the insensitivity of government to plight of the suffering Nigerians pledging the group on Downton support to NLC in its attempts to fight for the interest of common Nigerians. That we Nigerian people, ordinary people who are hungry by the policies of the governments of Nigeria, we are fully in support of the Nigeria Labour Congress. Whenever the Nigerian Labour Congress calls any action, we have no choice but to support the Nigerian Labour Congress.